um, when we were in school, we used digital tools like my phone. There are a lot of applications about maritime itself. When we were in school, we used digital tools like my phones, there's like applications, and there are a lot of applications about maritime itself. It has Polaris and seagull trainings. The courses that we usually take here, they're online, so we can uh, access them through our mobile phones and it helps us yeah, it's very efficient, so it helps us to do our studies. Even though when we went to the sea, there's Wi-Fi, there's internet on board. So we use the services provided online. Like I said, for Polaris application and Seagull and Videotel. So we usually use those um, applications to help us with our studies during our sea time. I, I, I'm doing my May 3, so I, I was here like three years back doing my cadets. So it has helped me a lot with my studies before I go and did my training, sit time. So we usually use that um, in Wi Fi access to get emails from the people in the office and our families, talk to our families and friends in other ships. So we have like. Um, 100, ah, 1,000 megabytes a week. So every week you have to use the 1,000 megabytes. And then the next week they will give you another 1,000 megabytes. So, um, so when we're in the college, we use this simulator. This is the, I mean, this is the actual setting in a ship. So when we, we were here, we used this one and we practice. And then when we go to the ship, we usually use this equipment, navigational equipment. So in the past they have paper charts, but now they change it to act this, the electronic chart, chart display, which is this one. So this is the one where you set your track, set your passage from point A to point B or port, from one port to another. So you set the track using this, the act this. And that one is the radar where it detects vessels or any navigational hazard during your watch as an officer you will use this equipment so on the bridge it's like it's integrated and synchronized so anything anything that's here you can see there and we have the gps global positioning systems and we have echo sounders to get the depth of the water and we have course recorders and um, compass, gyro compass, magnetic compass to know where we are heading and it gives our directions and all that. So these equipments are like integrated, these electronic equipments. And we also have the radios, the GMDSS. GMDSS is for Global Maritime Distress Safety Systems. And here in the college we did, we usually did a course about uh, how to use the radio and one, if you are competent then the NICTA will certify you with a competency certificate. So this is the radios and this is the GMDSS console. So this one is like a console. And this is the control of the engines. This is the steer or wheel. and. This is just a display, like repeaters or something. So everything is like integrated, interconnected. So the displays are there. So you just, it's not like in the past where you get the charts and then you get, you know, this, the digital electronic navigation aids helps and makes the navigational watch easier and effective. 
So you just check if there's any hazard and you take actions to avoid collision to make the um, navigation safe for the vessel and the cruise. Like everything is now changing, you know, so we have to accept the change and adapt to this, the changes that is taking place. So what this is, this is sim a uh, simulator of the uh, controls and automation. So what this simulator does is it automatically controls. You can use this to automatically control and monitor the different systems on the ship. Like if you have the, for example, this one is a generator number one. Generator number one is running, and if you're on duty, watch. You can monitor the parameters. Yeah, you see the pressure or temperature of the fuel or low boil or air. So this uh, automation it helps to instead of like engineers running to go and check the local controls. They can just be in the control room and just watch this. And also this is auto automatic. So if, let's say if something goes wrong, they change. They can automatically change from one side to another, giving time for the engineer to go down and check. So when we go on board, before, after we leave the school, we, we are given projects to do. And these projects, we have to study these systems in order to know how they operate or what are the problems that are open. So instead of us going down and lifting up floor plates and diving underneath the bilge to check for these systems, we already have it on board, right? have it on the monitor so we know that this comes after this, or this valve comes after this strainer, or this valve leads to the generator. This helps us to, makes it easy for us. Uh, when we signed on to this uh, international ships, we are required to give in every three months report on our progress. So we have to write reports about what we did or if we learned anything, we have to write it and send it to the shore-based people. And also, we email, we, there's a, we have this, there are servers on board, we have Wi-Fi on board. So we use email to contact with our fleet manager reporting to her monthly about our progress and how we're doing on board. And yes, we also use the Wi-Fi for WhatsApp with our family. So. Yes, we do rely on digital tools because if you're out at sea and you, let's just say you have a, like my uh, last voyage, it was uh, one and a half month, one and a half month. It's like from one country to another. So just imagine one and a half month you're not talking to your family. How will you feel? So this really makes our life easy. The Wi-Fi. The main purpose is to minimize human error for safety because most incidents on sh on board ships are caused by human error. So they created controls and automation to minimize it for a safer working environment. Mar I mean, mariners. My advice is that there is a lot of opportunity at sea 
for women who are interested. You can learn a lot of things. It will also be a big change to your character. Your person. So if whoever is interested, go for it. Thank you.